Are you gutsy? Do you have big dreams, big goals? Maybe even some people have told you that they are crazy gold. Gutsy Travels. We are a travel show with a twist. We have inspiring interviews with gutsy people. People around the country who have been gutsy. This is where you want to be. Be inspired to be gutsy yourself. to another episode of Gutsy Travels. This time, we are on location in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are at the grand resort of Gaylord Opryland. It's huge, and it has a district with a little village and a river that runs through it that you can get on a boat and go through it. It has gardens. It is absolutely gorgeous here. Today, I want to introduce you to a new friend of mine who I have met, and he is doing something global, which I'm fascinated by because we need more of this. And it is about humans and humanitarian efforts. And I'm, I want to learn more, and I want to introduce him to you. So come on over. His name is Abram Siegel Rivers. And your nonprofit is called One Day, right? Correct. All right. One Day. Now, you had to be pretty gutsy to take on <laughs> such a huge global project. What did you say? <laughs> you were gutsy. I would say I had to be gutsy. <laughs> well, how do you define gutsy? I define gutsy as really discovering a truth from within and really taking bold action based in purpose and passion, regardless of the outside circumstances, regardless of what the world, the universe has put in your path, it's standing in your commitment that you discover within. And moving forward anyway? Moving forward anyway, even when you're rolling around in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, starting something new. Sometimes it does feel like mud, right? It does. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's part of the process, I think. <laughs> I agree. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your story. How did this come about? So up to 2018, I've been a career musician touring all over the place, all over the U.S. and Europe, mm. and most of my adult life. I was touring, recording, or preparing to tour, or preparing to record. Okay. And I'll say that was pretty gutsy in itself because I was out of my comfort zone. I was living out of my suitcase, sleeping on floors. But starting one day was a whole new realm of gutsy for, for me. And a, a part of that, you know, 2018, you know, I'm at this crossroads in my life. 
touring for you know about 10 years of my life up to that point. Okay. And I was in this space kind of having an existential inquiry, as I've called it. Okay. Asking questions like, what's this all about? Who am I? Why am I? Why bother? Why am I making music? Why am I doing anything? Why am I getting up out of bed? Okay. And it was like in that inquiry that I did a lot of soul searching. And, you know, it was in the midst of diving deep and asking a lot of questions that led to some answers, Mm -hmm. but also more questions. Yes. (laughs) It really became clear to me that who I am and who we all are have the, the power and the possibility to create beautiful things in this world based on what we uniquely have. Mm-hmm. Our, we all have unique gifts. Mm-hmm. And one day became, it started as a vision, but became really an assertion and a declaration really, more, than, more a declaration that we all have something unique to offer that can yeah. lift up, can empower our neighbors, mm-hmm. no matter who we are, what we believe, what color we are, what, no matter what label of humanity we use to separate ourselves, we have something unique that can empower and lift others up. And so I was in that space and I was like, what seeds can I do today to bring wonder, to bring laughter, to bring beauty and joy to people that I know, but but also strangers, people I've never met. And going through that, I ended up having a vision. It's like, we're going to create a global holiday. (laughs) You know, we got, you know, every culture has some holiday for their culture. Right, right. But there's never been a human holiday. (laughs) <laughs> a human holiday. I like it. <laughs> What's the declaration that one day is today? You know, a lot of the time we'll say, one day I'll be happy. One day I'll lose weight. One day I'll write that book. Mm-hmm. Or one day we'll, be, we'll get along or this or that. And we avoid having any responsibility or any part in that said future. Taking action. Yeah, taking action. One day became, what can I do today? What can I do to take on today to actually empower or plant a seed to empower or to give love or to joy or bring someone else closer to their experience of their gifts and themselves and what they have to share? That's an awesome vision. Thank you. <laughs> and I can only imagine it's been a ton of work. It's been a ton of work and rolling around in mud. <laughs> imagine one day when all the people of the world come together to share, to appreciate, to love. Imagine one day where peace isn't some distant dream, but a reality here, now, in your heart and present throughout your entire life, reflected back to you in the community around you and the world you are creating. Imagine one day unity and reverence are the currencies that fuel creative progress in every aspect of our lives. On the one-day global holiday, Catholics and Protestants will picnic together. Jews and Palestinians will sing each other's song. Democrats and Republicans will partner to nourish the hungry. And Pakistanis and Indians will dance together hand in hand. One day is every day we choose to live it. We're part of something more. And so are you. One day is today. What we, what we do is we connect, inspire, and amplify communities through okay. music, art, stories, and events. And among, like, the biggest part of the vision is creating, like, a, if you can imagine, like, some people have said Woodstock for the soul. You know, oh. like, kind of creating a global holiday mm-hmm. where there are children and adults of every color and creed are laughing, playing, singing, dancing, and creating together in a, in a global sandbox. And... It's on that day, you know, the reminder is one day is every day. We get to say one day one day. is today. Looking at the positive side of humanity instead of the negative and the differences. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for taking on such a huge project. (laughs) Oh, thank you. I couldn't help it. (laughs) I'm going downtown. I'm going downtown. shame nothing in my pocket nothing to my name hope is fading fast my capital gain i'm going downtown baby never coming back got my head strong i think i'm gonna crack your story is so 
interesting. Now, when we're gutsy, mm-hmm. there's the positives and the negatives. There's the fear. There's so many emotions that we can have. Hence, a lot of people are not gutsy. Mm. They're afraid. Yet, you did take some action. You had this vision of humanity coming together. Mm-hmm. So what was your biggest challenge getting this going? When I first started, really started out with a vision, it yeah. required me to really get out of my comfort zone. Like really, there was a lot of fear because I now had this vision in my head, mm-hmm. but I had to share it with people, right, right, share right. it with the world. Okay. And I'm, sh- I'm opening my mouth, talking to people, global holiday, this and that. And they're like, I I was terrified that people wouldn't understand me. Some people did, some didn't, yeah. but it was this constant fear every day of here I go again sharing this vision that may or may not make sense to right. this person. Okay. And you know, it required me getting out of my comfort zone and taking action and sharing. Okay. And so the biggest obstacle has been sharing in the face of pounding fear of people understanding and getting it and you know, am I, am I crazy for thinking this? <laughs> and, you know, and that led to me taking a lot of action. Okay. And those actions, you know, at, at a certain point, sometimes I would take on every action where I would get overwhelmed oh, yeah. and try to do everything myself. And we can't. Yeah. You know, we can't, you know, and so I would say it's been facing the fear of just sharing and be fully self-expressed about this vision okay. and fear of people getting it, understanding it. And not thinking I'm just some cuckoo crazy guy with dreadlocks. <laughs> In between, right on track and rock bottom. Getting through, getting by one day at a time. As a kid, I believed I'd be something special. Now I see I'm just trying to survive. I came to the city with my soul. Based on your experiences with your story, getting this started, facing your own fears so that you could then be expressing and sharing what your vision is and then learning people are accepting it, Mm -hmm. that they want to be on board with you. What advice would you then give to our audience Mm -hmm that helped you get through those challenges? What advice would you give our audience? I would say your fear and your failures is your biggest teacher Mm. and your obstacles are your biggest opportunities. You know, it doesn't always seem that way at the time, (laughs) but consider when you're in the depths of, you know, fear and overcoming circumstance and people are not understanding or disagreeing, you know, it's considered that that voice that says, oh my God, that's bad. That person doesn't agree. They don't get it. That's actually an opportunity for you to listen to how people listen to you. Mm-hmm. You can listen to, you know, you have, have a, this is a frame of mind. This is a mindset. This is a paradigm shift. When I actually see the scary obstacle, this hill I'm climbing is something that can actually teach me something. Mm-hmm then no matter how many times I get knocked down rolling in the mud, I get back up and say, what's next? Next, you had those challenges, you felt the fear, you moved forward, failed, succeeded, failed, (laughs) succeeded, found out that there's people that are on your boat with you Mm -hmm. that love this concept. They're waiting and looking for me, you know, and that's- that's And working with you already. They're partnering. You know, when I started, I'm looking for the people who are looking for me. And as soon as I opened my mouth and found the courage to be gutsy, those people fell out of the sky. Well, what did you think? He is on a mission. 
It's a big mission for a global holiday. Amazing. And all the music on this video is from him and his band, Voodoo Fix. And we have all of that down below in the description. He is doing a gutsy thing, creating a global holiday. How do you even do that? <laughs> and you heard him talk about how scared he was, how afraid he was of judgment, of people being concerned, how they were going to fear, feel about him trying to create a global holiday for humanity. I think it's gutsy. It's very gutsy. Abram also talked about being outside his comfort zone. That's part of being gutsy. We are outside of our comfort zone. It's uncomfortable, yet we still push forward. And one thing that he said that really resonated with me was our obstacles are our opportunities, and they are. When we encounter obstacles, we can go around them, we can go over them, we can go under them, maybe, but going through them, going through the challenges, that's where we grow. That's where they are opportunities for us to grow. In the description below, we're going to have some more links for you so that you can follow Abram, so you can support his mission, because I think it's a really cool mission. One day is today. Abram, I love that, and I support you, and I hope this this video goes viral so that people will know more about what you are doing. Right now, I'm actually in Leeds, Utah, tiny little town, but very cool. So I just wanted to show you another place in America. In the meantime, be focused, be kind, be gutsy. Obstacles are opportunities. Move forward anyway. Why wait for tomorrow? How much time do we need? When the pieces come falling down Would you pick them up with me? When we open our eyes Will the light set us free? Will you treat me as human? 
focus on, identify, recognize our neighbors as having, being human, but also having I'm sorry, we do it one more time. I was I really, I, I was like, I had it. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs>